wanted to share with you a little tip. If you're finding the seat height a bit high, maybe you load it up, pillion, and if you just set your rider mode to off-road, you'll lower the rear suspension, the back preload will drop off and lower the rear end. And so when you're traveling through town or villages or, or campsite or anything slow speed, you get through it. When you get out the other side, put your rider mode back to normal and away you go. The only thing about changing to off-road mode on the Triumph Tiger 1200 is you have to be stopped to do it. But with the XRT and the XCA, you get an extra rider mode. So what you can do is set a rider mode, like your favorite mode, you know, whether it's like a sport or road, you know, set it up like that. But I put an option on the preload, on the TSAS, choose off-road mode for that mode and leave your traction control on and your ABS on. So then what it'll allow you to do is change the rear preload to off-road mode, lowering the rear end on the fly and coming out of that back into a normal mode on the fly as well. So when you get into that town or village or wherever it is, you can lower it, get through, come out the other end, raise it up. Now I'm only saying if you're, you're loaded two up and you just want an extra bit of uh, firm footing on the ground, I'm not suggesting you ride everywhere like that. You are tilting the bike backwards with the lower rear preload to give it extra rake and trail, which off-roaders like or prefer, to give them a bit more front-end stability. So it's easy to do, and I'll go through it on the dash. So, if you have a rider mode on the XRT, or the XCA, which is denoted by, oops, not that. That's the rider mode. You could go in there, edit that, and set the TSAS to off-road rather than auto. And as long as you have the ABS and the traction control on, it'll change the rear preload and lower the ride height on the bike and let you do that on the move. Normally when you want to go into off-road mode or off-road pro, it'll only let you do that when you're stopped. So, if I go to my rider mode anyway, if I go to my home menu, my setup menu, I'm in rider modes, oops, indicator, rider modes, now this is my rider mode, my customizable rider mode. I go to TSAS, TSAS mode. I've set it to off-road. It would normally be set to auto, but I've set it to off-road. Off-road settings, that's just the level of damping I want it to uh, change to when I go to that setting. I'll leave that where it is. But in this mode, I need to check that the traction control is on. Yep, it's set to road. Throttle map, whatever I prefer. So I'll just set that to road. ABS, I need to make sure this is on. Yep, it's set for road. If I'd set that for off-road, it wouldn't let me change into this rider mode while I was on the move. So, you can see if I reset this, no, actually I won't reset it to defaults because uh, well, okay, I will, I will, I will. Confirm. So, the rider mode by default comes out of the factory with the ABS set to road, throttle map set to road, traction control set to road, and guess what? TSAS will be set to auto. Auto just means if it notices a bumpy ground, it'll switch automatically to off road mode. But we want to set it permanently into off road mode and the damping setting, I will just leave it where it is, or set it up or down to wherever you wherever you like it. That's up or down. 
if it's off-road it normally be more towards the comfort end but because we're using this rider mode to uh, give us lower ride height we still want normal damping uh, we don't want super soft damping uh, assuming that's not what you want on the road anyway but. so there we are we've set up our rider mode to have off-road TSAS setting which will lower the rear preload lowering the ride height on the bike giving us a bit of extra um, further feet on the ground now, I wouldn't suggest carving up and around the canyons with that maybe getting to your campsite getting your bike in and out of your garage tricky places riding through congested towns two up pillion maybe doing a few hairpins on a mountain road maybe but it's easy enough to switch back to your normal rider mode anyway so here we are I'm all set up now so now if I change to my rider mode it tells me adjustment in progress rear preloads, preloads being wound back off the, low, the back ends lowering on the bike and the adjustments complete Back to road mode, rear preloads being put back on, lifting up the rear end of the bike. That's a bit quicker coming back up than it was going down. That seems to be pretty consistent actually. Back to my rider mode. back up now I can do this on the fly while I'm driving and the reason is because I have traction control and ABS still switched on if they were switched off it wouldn't let you do this on the fly you could still do it but you'd have to stop to do it uh, for that reason it's only the XC8 and the XRT that let you do this so you'd need to use your off-road mode on the other bikes with uh, TSAS but you have to stop to do it uh, to change but that's grand if you're getting your bike out of the garage or something like that uh, go to off-road mode get your bike out get your bags loaded get your pillion on whatever you need to do and then stick it in road mode wait a few seconds and take off so it's dead handy so there we are just doing the same adjustment in off-road mode Oh.